All right, so it's been a little while since I've worked on this specimen. And the spot down on this side here, there's still a lot of gold along here. And all the quartz right in this area here is covering it up. So I'm going to do a little bit more etching on this one. I'm going to wax it up and I'll submerge it in some hydrofluoric up to this point here. I'll have all this part of it waxed off so we keep that quartz intact. It's barren so it's just going to be part of the overall size of the rock but the gold in this area should show up really well. And then this side will just leave it natural. This is the side that was weathered naturally by nature and we're going to keep it that way. Alright, so <clears throat> I've added the wax to this specimen and I put a nice real heavy thick coating of wax on the back side because I want to maintain the natural appearance of that. So you can see here that it's waxed up all the way around except for right in here. That way the ASCII can go to work there and it won't uh, affect the rest of the specimen. I'm going to actually stand this up in a square container and then I'll angle the container like that so that I use a minimal amount of hydrofluoric acid. So I'll set that in and let it soak overnight. And uh, I won't use heat on the acid this time. It'll work a little slower, but then it'll also be a little more selective as well. So I will let it sit overnight and we'll see what the video looks like, or we'll see what the specimen looks like in the morning. I'll do a reveal video tomorrow. All right, on to the acid bath. Haha. -ha.